from the rain and trying not to think about her leaving me this way. Where I'm headed, I don't know. Felix, I don't try me one more time. There you go. It's just a little while. No, I'm, I'm saying I had the audio up too loud in my ears. I turned it down, so I just want to make sure I can hear you. I got to thank you. Think about her leaving me this way Where I'm headed, I don't know And I don't care As long as her memory ain't there well, I'll be somewhere well, I'll be somewhere guitar piece here for you and then we're going to go right into the cattle call after this. So. Thank you. Has he got the cattle call next? When I was a little boy, every Friday afternoon, 
Head out to the country when I got out of school. With a box full of eight tracks in the back of that old car. A trip that took two hours has taken me so far. We passed the boys in Luke and Mark, saw Georgia's lights go out. We met Merlin Muskogee on the way to her hometown. She taught me harmony and a love for the family. She made me half the man I am when Mama sang. How long is the open law? So I have been told But I hear those songs And suddenly I'm only eight years old In the back of that ambassador When it's half rolled down We're still cruising Texas And we're leaving Houston town When my Proud to do this every year for you guys. Welcome to the greatest steer sale in the universe. I'm at how many dollars wear? 25 and get 75,000. Is that you ladies? Champagne cowgirls, now 100,000. I got $100,000, 9459. Now 150,000, 9455. Two's wear, two, two, you have about 200, wear 175, you have about 200,000 dollars wear. 225, 9446 is 224,000, 25,000. 325, 50, wear 325, 50 dollars, 50 dollars, wear 325. I'll go on and do it. 325, 350's off, 350,000 dollars. The Champagne Cowgirl. One more time, the quarter five, even about 410,000. $410,000. I got 410 down here, 415,000. Hey, thank y'all for the help. Sold it to you. 410,000. 410,000 dollars. Debbie and Jeff Young, Robert Clay, Jason Ranchware, Becky and Kelly Joy, Julian, Alan, Ken, and family. ABC 13 presents the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Junior Steer Auction. More than 1,700 steers were entered by Texas school kids in the Junior Market Steer Show Championship. All of them hoping to be here on stage today at the Junior Market Steer Auction. And good morning, everyone. I'm Tom Cook. Hoping you're having a great Saturday morning. We are here at the auction. And last night we crowned a grand champion steer with a big slap. That is Hank, a Charolais from Scurry County. It's owned and raised by 18-year-old Lillian Digby from Hermley, Texas. And she is hoping to gain $75,000. That's what she's guaranteed here today in scholarships. Last year, we sold the Grand Champion Steer for $400,000. This year, let's hope we can top that. The world record back in 2002, $600,001. So let's see if we can get a new record today. Let's go to our auctioneer who's been here for so many years, Randolph Holford on the stage. Let's get it started. Good morning, Houston. And welcome. Welcome to the greatest steer auction on earth. 
here at the 2019 Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, we had over 1,800 exhibitors, 420 have made this sale. Here's your grand champion, Lillian Digby, an 18-year-old senior, Hermley High School student, going to Western Texas University. Steer's name is Hank. She's been here nine years, an AB student, plays uh, basket, basketball and volleyball, softball. What a great, great example of America's youth. I have an opening bid. I have an opening bid of $50,000 from Congressman Jody Arrington and his lovely wife, Ann, sitting right down there. Thank you all for being here. Uh, 19th District, I'm bid 50, now $100,000. I'm $50,000, $100,000, where? Now $100,000, 9788-10, 9788-100,000. Sally and Rigo Flores, Mary Alice and Ed Lester, Christy and Gracie and Tom Harrison, Willis Marburger, $100,000, $150,000. Hello, ladies, it's the Champagne Cowgirls, $150,000. Give me $200,000 on it, $200,000, 6271, 6271. Robert Clay, Schaefer Ranch Wear, $200,000, $250,000. $250,000, 9829. Narciso and Greg Flores, Olympia Drywall, Heather and Sean Cognon, Big Country Outdoors, Lisa Blackwood, Debbie and Jeff Young, 300,000. 300,000. Number 4880. Oh, now 4880 will beat everybody. 4880 will beat everybody. 300,000. McCarthy Building Companies, 300. 350,000. 6271. Robert Clay Schaefer Ranch Wear, $400,000. On 350, 400 is all. 400. 6485. The Somerville family, 400, 450,000 on the four. 450, where to get one now? Give them 400. 450,000. Well, uh, uh. $450,000, Narciso and Greg Flores, Olympia Drywall, Heather and Sean Cogden, Big Country Outdoors, Lisa Blackwood, Debbie and Jeff Young, but give me $500,000, $450,000, now five, $500,000, that's the Somerville family, now $550,000, I'm $525,000, J. Allen Kent Development, Julie and Allen Kent, $525,000, $50,000, 525, 550 is all, but down, but on 550,000 dollars, we're in a 525, five. five. You know, I hadn't thought about that. That's a sparkling idea. 530,000 dollars, McCarthy Building Companies. 540, 530, 40 is all, 530, you get four, 540, 535, 40 is all, hit it down, put on 540,000 dollars. That's the Somerville family, 540. Now 550, 540, 50, we're to get them down, get them 550,000 dollars, we're in a 540, 500. $550,000. Robert Clay, Schaefer Ranch Wear. Now 560. 550, 60s on the 565. 560s on the 555, 60s on the 560,000. $560,000. Jay Allen Kent Development. Julian Allen Kent. Now 575. $575,000. That's going to be the Somerville family. 575, 85 is on the 575. You put a bomb, 85. We're in the 575. You put a bomb, 85. We're in the 575. You put a bomb, 585. 575, 85 is on the 575. You put a bomb, 585,000. I'm 575, 85, 85. We're in the 575. 85 is on the 575. You put a bomb, 85. We're in the 575. You put a bomb, 85 on it. 9810. J. Allen Kent Development, Julian Allen Kent, Robert Clay, Schaefer Ranch Wear, McCarthy, McCarthy Building Companies, and the Somerville family, 585, 600,000. You want to be 600? I don't know. 625,000 dollars. 625,000 dollars. That's the Somerville family. Robert Clay, Schaefer Ranch Wear, J. Allen Kent Development, Julian Allen Kent, and the Somerville family. 625, where? Hit it around 35. 625, 35 is all now. 25, you put about 35. We're not 625, you put about 635,000. We're not 625, you put about 635 is all. 625, 635, we're not 625, 35, 35. We're not 625, 35 anymore. Lillian. Lillian. Uh, Peter. I got $625,000. You want me to sell this, dear? Sold it, $625,000. New world record, new world record. Set by J. Allen Kent Development, Julian Allen Kent, Robert Clay, Schaefer Ranch Wear, McCarthy Building Companies, and the Somerville family, $625,000. Here's Andy. Lily, I, I know Hank can feel it too. This is... This is a bit overwhelming, is it not? Yes, sir. So tell everybody in the audience, I mean, let's, let's go back to the beginning. Tell everybody when you first got Hank. In April. So this is, this is a year-long project. You've, 
You've been showing here at Houston. So let me hold on to Hank for just a minute so everybody can see you too. So you've been showing here at Houston for a while, so you really don't get a break. When you sell one steer, you go on to the next one. Yes, sir. Right. So tell us, tell us what a day in the life is like whenever you're, you're taking care of Hank and doing everything you need to do to prepare for the show. Uh, come home for practice, wash him, walk him, set him up, keep setting him up, and then keep walking. How much does Hank eat each and every day? Uh, about five pounds. Five pounds. That's all you have to feed this big man? Maybe more sometimes. <laughs> well, what, what would you like to say? Hank, do you want some more? Oh, now you want to be quiet. You're just like the singing frog. Okay. All right. Well, what would you like to say to the buyers that are helping you get an education? Because this is your senior year. Thank you very much. I appreciate all that you do. Folks, let's give it up for your 2019 grand champion. Congratulations, Lily. I'm going to give Hank back to you. Wow, a brand new record this year, $625,000 for that Charolais steer. Well, we still have the auction for the uh, reserve grand champ coming up. Let's see if we can top last year's record. Coming up right after this. success. We have all brought before and we've seen these kids mature and, and the successes they've had with the career path that they've taken. We have a Super Bowl. This is better than a Super Bowl. Honey, you just won a Super Bowl. That's right. That tag says it all, Mr. Somerville. Thank you. It's all for the kids and you guys are making that future that much brighter. Thank you, Mr. Somerville. Let me get out of the way. You guys can all get in there for the picture. Hank just said, smile, everybody. Let's give one more Houston congratulations to our 2019 grand champion. That is Lillian Digby. And it all happens in her senior year. What a storybook ending for Lillian. Once again, our winning bidders, J. Allen Kent Development, Julian Allen Kent, Robert Clay, Schaefer Ranchware, McCarthy Building Companies, and the Somerville family. And welcome back, everyone, to the Junior Market Steer Auction, where we have set a record today with the Grand Champion Steer, 
four, excuse me, $625,000 just a couple of minutes ago. So let's go to now the reserve grand champion, steer named Ranger with a slap last night. He was named the reserve grand champion. There he is. He's owned by 15-year-old Ethan Drager of Wise County, a member of the 4-H there. He's been raising cows since he was a kid, and he says his dad brought him here to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Last year's champ, reserve champ, I should say, sold for $366,000. Now to Randall Holford for this year's auction. Ethan Drager, a 15-year-old sophomore at Bridgeport High School, going to Kansas State, going to major in animal science. The steer's name is Ranger. He's been here seven years, a National Honor Society member. National Honor Society member. I'm bet, I'm bet how many dollars? 50,000. Here's your 9788, 9788810. That's going to be Sally and Rigo Flores, Mary Alice and Ed Lester, Christy and Gracie and Tom Harrison, Willis Marburger, 50,000, $100,000. Oh, I'm 50, $100. Where to put it down? Put it on 100,000. On the 50, give it a bomb, 100,000. Who said yes? 50, 100,000. 9829. That's going to be Heather and Sean Congdon, Big Country Outdoors, Lisa Blackwood, Debbie and Jeff Young, Narciso and Greg Flores, Olympia Drywall, 100, now 150,000. I'm 100, 150, where to put it down, put it on 150,000, 150,000, 9819. Robert Walker, R.L. Walker Transport, and Scott Walker, the Grand Entry Committee, 150, will he give 200,000? I'm 150 now, too. They'll be able to buy 200,000, 9829, 9829. Lisa Blackwood, Debbie and Jeff Young. Narciso and Greg Flores, Olympia Drywall, Heather and Sean Congdon, Big Country Outdoors, 200, 250. On 2, 250, where? Hey, to put it down, 250, where to get over down, get on $250,000, where to 200, you put it down, $250,000, where to 200, you put it down, 250's all. That's the Champagne Cowgirls, $250,000, where to get 300,000. On 250, now 3, 3, 3, but you put it down, 250, you put it down, 3, where? But you put it down, 300,000, where to 2 and a half, you put it down, 3. On 250, 300, on the 2 and a half, you put it down, 300,000, where to 2 and a half, you put it down, 3. 300. You know, that's a great idea, Sean. $275,000. Heather and Sean Congdon, Big Country Outdoors. Narciso and Greg Flores, Olympia Drywall. Lisa Blackwood, Debbie and Jeff Young, 275. Now three. Champagne Cowgirl said 300,000 is a better idea. Now 325. On 325, high 25, get it down, get it on 25, you put it on 325, where? On 300, 325, to do it again to one more time to 325,000 on the 300, 325. That's going to be Narciso and Greg Flores, Olympia Drywall, Heather and Sean Congdon, Big Country Outdoors, Lisa Blackwood, Debbie and Jeff Young. Now, 367,000 dollars. The Champagne Cowgirls just eclipsing the three million dollar mark. Three hundred and sixty-seven thousand. Give me three seventy. Three sixty-seven. Three seventy is all. Hit about a pound. Put a seventy. Put a pound. Three hundred sixty-seven. You put a pound. Three hundred seventy thousand dollars. We're in a three sixty-seven. You put a pound. Three seventy is all. On three sixty-seven. Three hundred seventy thousand. On the three sixty-seven. Three seventy. You're gonna quit. Three sixty-seven. Three seventy. Three sixty-seven. Three seventy. Any more? Hey, thank you for the help, though, ladies. Sold it to you, $367,000. The Champagne Cowgirls, Champagne Cowgirls. Like I said, they have 11 years, they just eclipsed the $3 million mark. Thank you, ladies. Ethan, I don't know if Ranger knows what to think of all this. I don't think so either. So. I, I can tell that you've had to spend a lot of time with this steer because obviously he's he's testing you a little bit, is he not? Yes, sir. <laughs> so what what have you had to do with this steer that maybe you didn't do with steers in the past? Uh, I've learned to be a lot more patient with this steer. It's taught me a lot of life lessons. <laughs> you you told me last night in the uh, in the stadium that he can get a little hard headed. Yes, yeah, I think he'll just saw all that too. So. All right, well, what would you like to say to your, your mom and dad and the 4-H and FFA leaders back home? Uh, I couldn't have done it without y'all. Y'all are the backbone of everything I do. Congratulations, Ethan. You're the future of what we're doing here, young man. Congratulations, folks. This is a great young man, and they truly care about these animals. Congratulations, buddy. Well, you can see it's an emotional day for these kids who are raising a lot of money for scholarships and getting a lot of money. Lillian Digby is with me now from uh, Hermley, Texas. How does this feel today? You're going to get $85,000 in scholarships. Yes, sir. It feels really great. Nerve-wracking. Awesome. You said this was a family fair. Tell me about that. 
Um, all of our family's here, little kid, brothers, cousins, pretty much everyone. So what did you do to make this steer so special? A lot of patience, a lot of love, a lot of effort. This is your last year here, right? Yes, sir. Okay, where are you going to go to school and spend that scholarship money? Western Texas College. Right, well, good luck. Lillian Digby, our grand champion steer owner today, $625,000. We just set a new record for the reserve grand champion. We'll be back with him after this. What is it that brings Thank you. Thank you guys so much for what you do for the youth here in Texas. And as Ethan takes one more lap, I think Ranger's about fed up with all the pictures, but he'll try to set him up one more time if everybody can squeeze in and smile at the cameras. Friends, you just got to witness firsthand how much our reserve grand champion cares about this project. Let's congratulate once again Bridgeport, Texas's Ethan Drager of Wise County 4-H, your 2019 reserve grand champion. Once again, if you would, as they exit the stage, a round of applause for our winning bidders, the Champagne Cowgirls, eclipsing $3 million in 11 years. 11 years. Well, welcome back, everyone, to the Junior Market Steer Auction, and what a day it is. I'm here with Joel Crowley, who's the president of Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Did you expect this today? I did not expect this. That record was so high, I thought inflation might have to catch it, but it just goes to show you the, the incredible generosity of our buyers who come back year after year to support these young people and generate scholarships. Okay. This has been 17 years since we set that record back yeah. in 2002, $600,001. I thought maybe it'd go to $600,002, but they topped it by another 25. <laughs> they blew it away, uh, which is incredible. So that rewards not only that student, but all of the 420 steer exhibitors who qualified, and it generates a lot of scholarships as well for deserving students. It does. Okay, Champagne Cowgirls win $1,000 over yes, last year's record to 367 this year. That had to surprise you too. Yeah, that's unbelievable. And, and we've seen this in all of our auctions this year. And we are just overwhelmed by the generosity of our buyers and their commitment to youth and education. Well, run this down for people who are maybe not familiar with the Houston Livestock Show Junior Steer Market Auction and the show itself. 
1,700 or more kids enter their steer in the competition. How do they get into this? Uh, really, their parents, uh, maybe another family member, encourage them to become involved. And it is a fantastic youth development opportunity. I'm a product of junior livestock shows. And so it is a great, great way for young people to develop skills and abilities that will serve them well regardless of what career path they choose. Okay, we're going to interview the young man here. This is Ethan Drager. Excuse me, Joel. This is the guy who just sold the reserve brand champ. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels awesome. What was it that made this steer so special for you? Um, I, I, I don't know. I just love them. The more I worked with them, the more I figured out I loved them. You got, you got a little emotional up there. Is it tough to say goodbye? Uh, it, yes, yes. And it's tough because I, my parents, they do a lot for me. And sometimes I feel like they don't know that. But I, I like to thank them every now and then. Up there. Okay, you've got a lot of scholarship money coming into your pocket. Where are you thinking of going to school? Uh, I'm thinking Kansas State University. So I went up there this summer and I fell in love with it. You're going to be kind of a hero in your hometown when you go back. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> so. Congratulations. Ethan Drager, and he's from Wise County, the 4-H there. Well, what a day it has been for the records here. 367000 for Ethan Steer, a uh, champion, for, a reserve grand champion record here, and then four Excuse me, I keep saying 400000 dollars for the that's Grand that's Champion that's Steer. I want to go back to Joel What's Crowley here, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo uh, president, because I want to talk about this lineup that we've had here during the rodeo this year. Boy, what a three weeks you've had. <laughs> it's been a great three weeks, and uh, even though the weather wasn't ideal to begin with, we've had some fantastic, fantastic days. We're actually on par with last year's attendance. And this lineup, I think, drew a lot of visitors to our show that have never been here before. And hopefully they'll be back next year. Well, and you're really closing it out. You got Brad Paisley tonight and then George straight tomorrow. Yeah, how can you close any better than that? And the grounds are open tomorrow all day long for people to come out and enjoy what we do here on the grounds. And then we're going to cap it off with a great George Strait concert. You know, he's sort of come full circle because this is the rodeo that made George Strait famous. People know the story. I think it was Eddie Rabbit that dropped out at the last minute. They called this kid named George Strait, and the rest is history. 1983, Eddie Rabbit became sick last minute. Uh, they heard this George Strait guy was pretty good and uh, so it, it really is full circle for him and we're so happy that he continues to support our organization so when do you start planning for next year's rodeo right after monday morning we will start planning for next year we've already made notes on things that we wanted to improve we already have a list of things two years out that we're trying to implement to keep the show fresh keep drawing a, a wider and wider audience and uh, increase our impact for youth and education well let's talk about that a little bit because some of the kids obviously have uh, legacies here. Uh, you know, their parents raised steer, raised uh, goats, whatever they raised or, or whatever they entered here. So this is like a family affair, and this really helps kids learn about not only agriculture, but all kinds of things. Uh, responsibility. Responsibility. There is no greater responsibility than caring for another living being, and any parent can answer that. And these young people get that experience at a very young age. Uh, they're out there early in the morning before they go to school caring for animals. They get home from school or maybe extra curricular activities. They're out there caring for their animals. Agriculture is one of those professions, if somebody doesn't do their job right, something could die. That is a lot of responsibility placed on these young people, and it will no doubt pay off in their future. How many volunteers this year? Over 34,000 volunteers on 108 committees, and that's absolutely incredible. They give freely of their time and their talent, and that's the reason we're able to put this event on, and that's the reason we'll award $27.1 million to youth and education this year alone. So how do you get involved in this? If you're somebody out there watching and says, you know, I'd like to get involved and volunteer for the Livestock Show and Rodeo. First, you become a member of the show, and so that's a $50 annual membership or a $500 life membership. Once you have a member number, you can look through our list of committees and place your name on a wait list to join one of those committees. There's typically an interview process, uh, but we can always use more help and people who are committed to, to our mission. This steer auction really is Texas, isn't it? It caps things off nicely. Uh, it really is a celebration of agriculture. It involves Western heritage, and uh, it just shows what a tremendously philanthropic community Houston is, uh, especially when it comes to youth and education. Before the show, I asked uh, Paul Somerville, I said, 
you going to set a new record? He said, we'll see. I think he had it in his mind. <laughs> I think he did. And there was another group pushing them as well. It takes two. Uh, but that is just phenomenal to reach that level and, and the impact that that's going to have, not just on the young people in the auction today, but on a number of deserving scholarship recipients. Okay. So we still have a lot of auction to go here today. We do. And uh, the committee had raised a record amount going into today's auction, so it's going to be fascinating to see where they end up. Okay. And then the rest of the auctions, are they over already? The, uh, the rest of the auctions have concluded. This is the last one. Uh, all the junior auctions, the youth auctions have been up this year, thanks to the hard work of our committees and support of our buyers. And uh, so we're going to have no trouble rewarding our youth this year. Okay. So uh, any thought given to even making the rodeo a bit longer, or is three weeks the, the biggest stretch you can handle out? You know, our, our current lease uh, has a window where we can have the show. We've talked about maybe making it a little bit longer. I think for our volunteers, and particularly our volunteer leadership, that might be a bit of a challenge because uh, it's a marathon now. Um, but we are continuing to, to develop this show and make it new and make it fresh. And so those are things that we might consider in the future. Yeah. And you know, you talked about the all the volunteers here, very little paid staff. Um, people that get involved in this show absolutely love it, and they also make it like a family. They do. And each one of those 108 committees, it has its own culture. It's like a family. And they take great pride in supporting the show. Um, you know, they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart. And because they're doing it, we save on labor expenses that we can commit to our mission. Okay, listen, I'm going to turn to Paul Somerville, and we got Alan Kenter. If you'll excuse me, Joel. Gentlemen, I said to Paul before the show, are you going to set a new record? You said we'll see. Well, we're a team, and uh, we were all out there to buy one. We decided to team up and go ahead and break the record. How do you feel? It's just great. Great to help the youth of Texas. Uh, what we're all about here at the rodeo. I appreciate the help from my friends. Uh, what, a, what a morning. And were you thinking before the show, okay, we'll go in all in? It feels fantastic. Yeah, we could, whatever we could do to help out with the kids, that's what we wanted to do. To and how about you? Is it just one of those feelings you said, oh, let's do it? Yeah, it's, it's a great thing. We donated it to Swan yesterday, and being a part of this today, is, it's an awesome feeling. Well, you're wearing the button. It says it's for the kids, and that's what we're here for. Congratulations. Thank Brand you. new record for this group of gentlemen and women. 625,000 for the Grand Champion here. Another record, 366,000 for the Reserve Grand Champion. And that does it for the Junior Market Steer Auction for today, everyone. Hope you have a great rodeo.